This is a video showing how to use contour with a coloring book page in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to use Olaf because my daughter is currently obsessed with Frozen. So I googled Olaf coloring page and I'm going to pick one. I like to look at the numbers down here because the higher the numbers the better resolution of the image. So we're going to click this one and save image as. I already saved it as Olaf coloring page so that we can speed this up. And I'm going to go to Chrome because that's what I like using with Design Space. I'm going to go over here to upload. I'm going to upload image, browse, and I'm going to find my Olaf coloring page. I select complex because I just want to make sure I get the cleanest image. I'm going to click continue and then I'm going to go right up here to the magic wand and I'm going to click on all of the white space. You can see we have some smaller lines and stuff so what I like to do first is go through and click out all of the bigger spots and then I'll show you how we can zoom in to get those smaller areas. Now we go right over here to this little zoom and we can zoom in and out. Make sure we got all of the white spaces. And then, and then I'll show you how we can use the eraser tool to get rid of that writing that was down in our bottom right hand corner. We'll go back to the eraser tool. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so we only have to do one. We'll go back down to that writing and we'll just erase it. And then we'll click continue. And this is the important part to make sure that we're saving it as a cut image. I'm going to save it as Olaf. And I'm just going to pull him right up from our uploads since we're going to be using him right now. But you can always just go to your images tab and search Olaf and find it that way too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate Olaf and I'm going to move that one over here. I'm going to take the original and I'm going to push contour right over here in the bottom right. And I'm going to hide all contours. That is going to turn Olaf to a completely one image, one solid color. I noticed over here these small little lines look more like they're not part of Olaf so I'm just going to contour those out so it will make our image look a little bit better. Now I'm going to go back over here and I know that Olaf has a few colors not too many so that way we can do a faster video and I'm going to duplicate him here. Now what I like to do is go back and Google just Olaf and find a color colored picture of him that way we can see how many colors he has and where they are. So I'm going to go back to Google Chrome and I'm going to contour and I'm going to select and I like to keep the image right over here so that when I select contour we can see what we just did. Now I'm going to select this over here because I don't want that whole outline of Olaf. We already have that. So what we're going to do is take his face, we're going to do the white layer first. So everything that's supposed to be white, we are going to make sure we have. Now we can get rid of his arms here. We don't need these spaces. And this. And then we'll go back up and get his hair out. Um, you can always zoom in over here, down here and that will bring you in just for those smaller dots. And don't forget, if you forgot to select something, you'll find out when you go back to the main layer, and that's okay, because we can always come back and contour it. So now what I'm going to do is go back over to my layers, and I'm going to press white. I'm gonna make it white, and I'm gonna bring it back over here and lay it on top. Now I notice this should be black, so I'm going to contour, and just take it out. Perfect. 
Now I know that we have to do his orange nose and then the brown, so I'm going to duplicate him again to make sure that I have enough. I'm going to select him. I'm going to take out that base layer again. And now we'll get rid of everything that we already did for the white layer and the black layer. And we're going to keep everything that we need to be brown. So really just his arms and his hair. So I can see over here exactly what I'm clicking. Now you can put the image over a little more. I didn't, but it's fine. So I know I don't need any of this. And as I'm clicking it, you can see it on the left hand side. All right. So now we're going to go back over to our layers panel and we're going to change it to brown. We're going to line it back up. Now it's a little hard to see because of the black, but you'll be able to see it on your screen. And now we just have to do his orange nose. So we can start over here. And this sometimes is easier because we can see them all. And we can just start getting rid of all of these pieces that we don't need and it's just going to leave us with his orange nose. Oops. All right, almost done. And now we just have the nose so we'll go back to our layers panel. We'll change that to orange and we'll line it up. And now if you go to make it, you can see you have all of your layers to cut.